What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Consecrated Snowfield Catacombs. Uh, so before we get started, I did run back by Round Table Hold and just upgrade this. We can obviously hit by uh, fives and sixes, so there's no reason to have anything below plus 21 if you're using it. I went ahead and made it cold, too. I figure I got bleed here, I'm going to put cold here, and that's just going to make things nice. Uh, also, look at that. 143 frost buildup. That should be pretty good. Uh, but anyway, so from here, we just head on in. Uh, very shortly after getting in, there's going to be an imp that's getting ready to come down. See him right there. He in. And then right there, you can already see it starting on up. Uh, so we're going to be using the bow a lot here. I think I'm safe right here. Yeah, I am. playing a mage, um, either Frenzied Burst or alternatively, uh, what was it? You can use Frenzied Burst here, or you could use um, a Redis Great Bow to snipe that and get it down. Yeah, I think I'm going to go the guard ability. I don't know. The shield doesn't really need it. I don't know. I'm just not sure what I want to use. Um, hang on. I think we go first. Let me see. Uh, ambush at steps, snipe the ice tower, imp on... Left in the safe room, around the ice tower for some boluses, and then around to another ice tower. Hi, idiot. Look at the damage on that now. My shield is literally a weapon. It's fantastic. This is the room that we are trying to get back to. For now, though, head on up, and you can see there's already another tower waiting for us. Which actually, no, this one we're going to wait for it and then run, because this one's a little, a little tricky. There's an imp that's over there, and there's also a big cat. Try and bash this guy down to get a stagger. Now, it might have been changed in 1.03. You used to not be able to damage the cats uh, with these towers, but I think they changed that in a recent patch because earlier when I was doing the prep work, that cat came over and he got obliterated by the ice. Just keep in mind that if you move it, the ice is now going from side to side. That was a bad block. bunch of imps in here, so we're going to have a little bit of fun with this. You can use these towers to do most of the work for you. out as well as I would have hoped. If I was a little bit faster, maybe. What I was trying to do there, obviously, was get all four of them in this tunnel, and then have the, uh, the frost blast just take them all out, but it didn't quite work out like that. 
Uh, so we grabbed that. Um, not real fast. Just slap this on. Alright, uh, next we're gonna go west. It's gonna be an imp that tries to ambush us off to the right after we round the corner and get to the room. You know, the, the guard counter into the light, actually. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. You want to go up first? Earlier, this was booping them. I was getting it. See, uh, up top for cat, then down below for clean rotten night. That I don't think there was any. Yes, there was. Okay, the grave ward. So down below is a clean rotten night. That should be easy after the bullshit we just dealt with. Okay. I don't know why he's just standing in the hallway waiting to die. Tried to trade and you lost. I might actually bring us some more Cerulean Tears uh, after he's dead. Pick up that. And this is another Frost Tower, but this one is very quick. So, it's gonna trigger it. Play a little bit lower on the stairs. I don't even know if we can make it in time. Ugh, okay, we did. Okay, well, he's gone. Uh, so, what we're gonna do here is hit this with a knife. There we go. Then we're gonna get a little cheesy. Just run back, throw a knife, and then you're basically good. You can just chill here. There's two knights in that room, so, I mean, there's really no point in trying to deal with that yourself when this will <laughs> this'll just do that for you. And then whenever those are, uh, when those guys are dead, we'll just throw a knife again. One more blast. I don't even consider this a cheese. This is just, like, smart use of the mechanics in the catacomb, you know? Go on in. Any rock gauntlets. Those gauntlets are a drop, by the way. That's not a guarantee. We got the gauntlets and the glove wart. We killed the other guys. Uh, no! Oh, man, I messed that up. I had to land on top of that, but we should be able to run right back. We want to ride that up. I believe everything dead. Pretty easy. Oh, nope. Missed it. Took the wrong turn. Down below.
that, this, that. I would hit it back down just to disable that front spray, because that's where we're going to leave. Uh, let's see, ice tower knock down ambush on right. Lure and use it, ride the tower up, loot and lever them back for the boss. I didn't even write down what the boss in this place was, so it must not be that hard. Oh, this guy. Yep, yeah, this ain't gonna be hard at all. There's the frostbite. Resin, you get his cloak as well as a great grave. Love work. Loot, loot, loot. And I think we're good. Let's work on out. Hey, that's my. I'm gonna go in a little bit. We wanna. Obviously, we're not going out there with no no flasks or anything. Actually, it doesn't matter, because we're not starting from here. Well, no, yeah, we, we could start from here, but no, we're going to uh, hop on over to the Southern Grace. We got the Inner Consecrated Snowfield. Do that first. Um, let's see. In the notes, I had us do book, book, and all of that. Okay, when did we do Back to Inner Grace? We can do the Knight Rider fight now, I suppose. There's a couple things we could do. Well, the Knight Rider's more. Yeah, we're gonna focus more on like this side, kind of like the eastern portion of the of the the western snow region. Uh, so we want to go right like here. Is one thing. We're gonna go here, and we need to run along this cliff and go up to here. So this first one. Um, there's another. It's another thing. We'll get over to that later though. Uh, let's see. As we head on in, the snowstorm should pick up in a second here. Now this, you can either do right now or you can just save it. Um, okay. This one. This one. Uh, so this guy that's you know, stuck in the snow, that's really funny. It's actually one of those secret room bears. So y'all have fought the secret room bears before. Uh, imagine a snowy room bear. This thing is, is it's honestly like terrifying. It's very fast, it hits very hard. So just, you know, it's one of those things where if you don't think you're ready for it, don't force yourself to fight it. Because these things, honestly, these things are harder than some bosses. They are, they are absolutely terrifying with how much damage they deal. Got me with the hug. Jesus. So yeah, killing that thing will get you another larval tier. We obviously have a ton of these by this point. Um, we're actually going to just go right back and rest of that grace. The thing ate up a ton of our healing. It's ridiculous how strong it is. All right, uh, now we go over to two. I'm just gonna put this on now. Um, where are they at? Do, 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 do. Nope, not claiming. I want 
imps. Just gotta get up the hill a little bit. And we should be good. There we go. Now we can we can see that marker. A couple like stray loots along the way as well by these heads. Clintstone craftsman. And once we get here, go ahead and summon up those fanged imps. And give this guy a couple whacks. Probably two. Yeah, that's good. So, uh, the puzzle here, imp versus imp. It's gonna have our imps finish murdering that thing and the seal's gonna open up. Talisman, really good for sorcery builds. It's like a flat, I believe, 8% boost to all of your spell damage. No downside, just honestly like a best in slot talisman from ages. And down we go. Pick them up. Pick them again. Uh, so this next part, what we need to do is just go along this cliff and then circle up. Now there is a red wolf of Radigan right here. To be honest, I'm not going to fight it. Um, you don't get anything for killing it. I mean, you get runes, obviously, but we get so many runes in this area that the time it takes to kill that red wolf is it's not worth it at all. You're, you're better off just running right past it and ignoring the damn thing. Unless you happen to be particularly adept at killing them. I, I think they're a pain in the ass, which is why I'm going to ignore it. But Run on up. Here, all the wolves, you know, you're getting close to the right spot. I can already see all the bloodstains that are out here. And this is what we want. Once you can travel, you're going to be safe anyway. But yeah, I mean, fighting that thing in the snow, you can't see when half the glenstones are coming at you. Nah. It's going to be a hard pass for me. So instead, uh, we have just basically shot straight across the gap. So we have an Erdtree Guardian over here that we're going to kill. Let's go forward a little bit. Should get our summon sign in just a moment here. Is I would like Tish. Right over here. Yep, there she is. Put that on, and why not? Let's just put the things up, make it a little bit frosty. Oh god, you hurt. Last moment it looked like its health briefly healed on up. I'm sure some people are going to be like, what happened there? Uh, keep in mind, Tish can apply a debuff that reduces the enemy's max health. So, that, the max health was reduced, the enemy was about to die, and that debuff fell off, so the enemy got back that health, and then we had to knock it on out. So, definitely an interesting interaction, you know, if you happen to be using Tish and you see that, you know, you don't want to be like, oh my god, the boss cheated and healed itself. Like, no, that's, that's part of Tish. Uh, so anyway, let's see, cookbook, we did the Imps to solve the tower, Red Wolf teleported the Erd Tree, uh, kill the Guardian, we can swing west for a Sombering and work our way down the line. Okay, so we have some shiny dudes, like right there, uh, and then as we kind of work our way through these cliffs, there's going to be some loots that we're going to get. Not off that cliff. 
Not off that cliff either. Let's circle around. There we go. There's a nice gradual cliff. feeling too hot about that either. Right here, maybe. This this looks like I can fall down it. No, I don't, I don't know about that. I don't actually, the more I look at it, the more I'm like, you know what? I'm just not feeling good about any of these cliffs. We're just going to run around. Yeah, I could get off my horse and drop a stone, but that that's effort. I don't like effort. Alright, the first one we want is up there. Can I hit you? There we go. If you want, you can kill the Aldenurix. It doesn't really matter. They're just kind of sitting in mind in their own business. This one, though, he looks like he might get a little, a little mouthy, so we'll take him out. Uh, all the other beetles around here are just like either health or cerulean tears, so we're not really concerned about them. We just want the sombering ones. Uh, let me see. The sombering, work your way down to the waterline. Okay. I'm going to lure the crabs to hit the statue and hope I don't die. I don't think there was anything up there. It's this guy. Try that again. Thought I hit triangle, but maybe not. There we go. I'm so glad I got those Nascent Butterflies. Whatever would I do without them? There we go. Alright. There we go. And from here, we're down at the waterline. We're just going to head east. I mean, it's a big watery ravine. It's kind of hard to miss up. Uh, just smack one of those crabs to get its attention. And we're going to run on over here. We're just going to wait for Mr. Crab to come on over. Come on, buddy. This guy is taking his sweet time. Come on. I mean, I'm right here. All you gotta do is attack. I look so killable, don't I? What is wrong? Attack me. Thank you. Damn. Smithing stone eights. Mount up. And then just head on out east. Uh, now there is a worm that's over here that we can fight. We don't want to do the worm just yet. We're going to run right past this guy. Almost went past him. Pop this open. We are going to kill the worm. I'm just grabbing us a grace real fast just so that if we do die, you know, it doesn't matter. We got a grace. Great time for us to spend some of our stuff as well. Let's see, let's see. I think mine is for me. 15,000 short. Um, Probably more than 15, but we'll take one. Oh my god, it's exactly 15. Wow. What incredible luck. Dead dragon. Next fight, uh, either Mimic or Tish. Tish would be really good here. So our Mimic would probably do pretty well, also. Great. 
Great Worm Theodorix. This thing will hurt a lot if you uh, give it a chance to, so just be cautious. Try to bleed it out. That's why Tisha's great. Work on that, that, uh, that health debuff. Bleed's obviously great here. Oh my god, yeah, see how much damage we took just being in that magma? There's a nice bleed. Oh, there's a big knockdown. Man. Even blocking this thing is doing some damage. Oh! Wow. Well, and that's why we got a grace first. Like I said, this thing is mean. But when we kill it, uh, it'll get us access to the upgraded lava breath, which is really cool. If you're, you're doing a build for that. Um, let's go back out. I might run the Mimic this time. Just because I'm thinking both me and the Mimic. So if we can both bleed it, that's that's going to be the golden ticket. I might open the fight up. I'm trying to draw spider as well. step further and just use blood grease. best thing is to put some charged heavies out. Really build that bleed up. Yeah, the bleed strap working much better. There we go. Theodoric's down. I said you can now go pick up uh, the magma spell and with that we actually uh, we now have access to well actually we don't there's one more uh, Dragon Lord we need to kill Dragon Lord and he's in Furumazula after him we'll have access to all of the dragon spells but all of the base dragon spells get the ancient dragon smithing stone up here by the way um, so like we have fire enhance fire frost enhance frost magic enhance magic magma enhance magma rot enhanced rot Claw, Bite, Roar, and the only thing we're missing is Placidusax, which we get him in a later zone. Uh, but so with him down, up next is the Cave of the Forlorn. Um, hmm. 
I think I might add this into this episode, because if I didn't die right there, I think I would have had this in anyway. Um, this place is pretty short and sweet. I think we can, we can add it in here, too. There's a bunch of stuff below. If this doesn't crack, so don't worry about it. Uh, but head on over. I'm going to go along. We're going to be going left up here, so northeast. There's a couple enemies in here, and like one piece of like trash loot, but... get for it? Freezing grease. No, I'm not getting this. No, no secret paths in here. Just a whole load of bullshit for freezing grease. Now as we return, we can cross over and get this. Now as we go into this room, swing around to the left, come up behind more of these things. Butterflies, we can cross again. And we just continue along. Like I said, this place is, is pretty short. I'm gonna be able to get through it pretty fast. Past kind of the icy doorway, if you will. Uh, there's a bunch of McKella lilies around here. Mikela, not McKella. But I've always been terrible at pronunciations. Top, go to the hero's rune. Um, do, 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 do. Is this the one? Yes, so this is where we're going to proceed, but there's more deeper in the cave first. So head on up here. Bunch of people dying around here. Yeah, I love how cheeky that is. Go ahead a little bit more. A little jiggle. Got the big boy, slow it up. Hey, Mr. Archery, come here. them. You get a rune arc, some spirit flame arrows. I thought there was something else. Let me see. Three baddies by spirit arc and arrows. Okay, no. It was just those two things. Uh, do, do, do. And then we uh, do, 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 do. We take main path. Large room has Makilla, Lily, and hero rune up above. We grab the hero rune. Three baddies, and then we're gonna return and go to the right. More lilies. Climb up here. Cross. Okay. Um, let me check here. Continue along for jellyfish guarding loots. Drop down carefully for the boss. All right. Um, they're red jellyfish, meaning they are aggro. They will shoot at you. You can fight him if you want. I don't know. I just never kill the jellyfish. I know someone pointed out in an episode. They're like, ah, cowboy must be a jellyfish pacifist. I don't know, man. I mean, like, yeah, that one might shoot a little poison at me, but I don't know. Just, I don't know. I feel kind of bad killing him. I don't know why. It's weird. I think it's because most of the time they just kind of float there, you know? They're just doing their own thing. They're not bothering anybody. They're not even, like, attacking. Uh, so, be very careful with your drops here. As a missed drop, you will die. And then you're back to the jellyfish. And you'll miss that loot. That super valuable loot.
All right. Uh, for this, it, it's whatever you want. Mikella, or not Mikella, um, Tish, Mimic. You've fought these guys a billion times by now. This one just happens to have a legendary armament. Actually, what's funny is the first one we killed also had a legendary armament. Do you like my frostbite? If you have a uh, boner for holy stuff, this dude has like a ultimate holy sword. Jiggle and the Golden Order Greatsword is now ours. Um, so this actually gets some pretty respectable stats on it. Uh, I will say the unique skill kind of has a slow startup. You saw how he did it. It's like boing and a big thing and then he goes into using it. But I mean it's legendary armament. So try it out. I, I felt like it was too slow to be that useful in combat. But it does hit pretty hard. It just takes a minute to get off. So warp on out though. And with that, the Cave of the Forlorn is done. We're going to head back to the uh, inner Consecrated Snowfield Grace, and that is where we are going to wrap things up. So. Oh, man. Good stretch in here. Uh, in terms of next episode, we're going to make things night. We have a double Knight Rider encounter. That is the final of the Knight Rider encounters. In addition to that, we have a Deathbird over here, and that is the final of the Deathbird encounters. We can get a Sombering 10 up here for a quest. Uh, a couple kind of loots scattered throughout here. A bunch of Sombering 8s down there. And then after that, the only thing left is Ordina. So it may be one episode. Maybe it'll be two, though. I don't know. Just looking at my notes, I have, like, let's see. I also have Mogwin Palace still. Ooh. Yeah, we got at least two more episodes. So anyway... We're wrapping up. If you want to keep exploring, go for it. But I'll catch you all next time.